We're going to continue in our study on the issue of anger. A lot of individuals are angry. Amen. A lot of individuals are recovering from anger. Amen. A lot of the individuals don't even know they're angry. Your whole life is a lifestyle of anger. You're angry in the morning. Angry at lunchtime. Angry in the church. In the building. Angry in our cars. On our jobs. In our schools. Angry. Just angry. And I think something else is very important. We don't even know that we're angry. Because it's become a, such a part of society today is that if you're not angry, something is wrong with you. I think you, you can see that. If you're not angry at something or somebody, something is wrong with you. Am I right? You should be angry at somebody Amen. or at some organization or some system you should be just angry and upset and we don't even know many times even why we're angry we just are angry because everybody else is what? Amen. angry and we see somebody that's not angry and we wonder why. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why are you acting like nothing's wrong? Why are you acting like nothing's going on? Don't you see what's going on? I can't even talk to you. Well, that's wonderful you can't talk to me. Because I don't want to fall into that trap. Devastating trap of anger. I'm not saying I'm perfect, Amen. but we are saying that times that we find ourselves in these areas of anger, we should try our best to seek Jesus and escape anger. And the newscasts just make you angry. The government makes you angry. The parties in the political system. We heard nothing from Jesus, but we're just angry. <laughs> I wish you did that. I wish you get that straight. No, no, not anymore. Angry. The scripture says, angry, be angry and what? Sin not. not. You can be angry and upset with a system, but Christ in you have displayed the joy of the Lord in your life. Yes. That's why the system really doesn't embrace those in Christ because the anger has subsided to the point that where they can't use it. <clears throat> and the system will continue to use your anger to further its diabolical scheme. If we look at, at Romans, at Acts here, thank you for reading those scriptures. You can see how this anger and frustration of religion and the system has brought Paul to a place on the Damascus Road and they met peace. Isn't that wonderful? Verse 9, chapter 9 of verse of the uh, book of Acts. Earl read that briefly. But look at this. And Saul breathing out threatens and slaughter against the disciples 
of the Lord went unto the priest. He was mad. And let me share something with you. Religion or religious individuals are mad with those that have been set free by Christ. Amen. You won't find peace in religion. You find a bunch of laws and rules and regulations to obedient to a system. This is right here. Paul thought he was all right because they're working for the religious system, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. On his way, he said, "I won't go and get some more of these believers." bring them back. Look what it says here. And he desired him letters to Damascus to the places where the believers gathered and worship in the synagogues that if I find any of the way, what? I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to the Father but by me. Yes. Whether they were men or women, mm -hmm. that he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. Anybody worship in Jesus' name, we're going to lock them up. Anybody praising God, we're going to lock them up. Anybody forgiving somebody, we're going to lock them up. Anybody showing love and compassion to somebody, we're going to lock them up. This is what it's all about here. If they don't look at it from my way, some people get angry. The joy of the Lord is what? My strength. Look at it. And he journeyed with all that what? Anger and frustration and bitterness in him. Because those who had turned to Jesus were no longer part of his system. When you turn to Jesus, you leave a system. And you become his you don't belong to the system. You don't become obedient to the system. You belong to Jesus. He's asked you to walk in the light. It's easy in light. And you'll fail not to fulfill the lust of the what? The flesh. Paul was fulfilling the, the lust of the flesh. Religion cannot save you. Religion can lock you up and bound you but it can't set you free. Look at what happens. As he journeyed and came near Damascus, and suddenly there shone around about him a light from where? Heaven. Heaven. It didn't come from the TV or from the synagogue. It came out of heaven. Now, I, I always wondered this. I wonder why did God actually call Paul because of, of Paul's history? Or, or he knew exactly who Paul was. He knew exactly how dedicated he was to what? Religion. The Sadducees, the Pharisees. He knew exactly how dedicated he was. You were dedicated to something before you met Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I don't know what it was, but God knows exactly what you were dedicated to. All right now. All right. You were dedicated. And when God called you, He called you to be dedicated to Him. Yes. All right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. And I think this is something else important here. The dedication. The loyalty, the faithfulness yes, that Paul had to the religious system. Yes, I gotta get this boy, turn him around. Right. He'll be alright. Right. Look here. Hmm. See, God is is so so smart. I say that. Yeah. He can take the rottenest thing in the world and make something out of it. Yes, yes, Thank you. Thank you. I want I want myself. Thank you. I want nothing. 
But God, COVID turned me around. Yes, I was dedicated to things of the world. Yes. Now I'm dedicated to the things of Christ. Yes, yes, yes. What Christ needs is people that are dedicated. Thank you, Lord. And I'm angry and upset, mad all the time. Mad with a preacher, mad with a teacher, mad with everybody. Mad with everybody. Angry. Can't even curl a conversation. I'm not angry. I can't talk to you because I'm angry. I can't love you because I'm angry. Mm, mm. There's no peace between us because I'm angry. Angry at what? That's an old damn nature that is so angry. Amen. You mm. need a new nature. You need to rely on God's nature. Mm. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Mm. All things are passing That's away. Thank you, Lord. Behold, all things are becoming new. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Isn't it? Isn't Thank it? you, Lord. On his way to kill more Christians, lock them up, behead them. Women, children, men, old and young. It doesn't matter. All he want to do is get them people from, from worshiping Jesus. Yes, sir. You should work. You should worship the system and those in charge of the system. Those who head of the system, not this man Jesus, yes, but the Pharisees, the leaders of the system, of the system. But when, you, when Jesus brings you out, you can see the system, and he's above the system. Yes. Yes. He had nothing Thank to do with the system. Thank you. Calls us into the light. Any man being Christ, he's a, I love that. It's kind of simple. Scripture we heard a thousand of times, but I haven't really taken it to heart. And he says, He said, Who art, who art thou? And and the Lord said, It is Jesus. Well, Jesus? What do you mean, Jesus? That what them that what them people in the Keep going to synagogue for worship and praise with Jesus. And I stopped and locked them up and kill them. And, and they going to see Jesus. And this is Jesus speaking to me. I don't care what you've been through or what you've been in. God can still speak to you. Give you a chance to come out. Now you can stay there if you want to. Because you are a free moral agent. Yes, sir. But it will give you a chance to come out. Yes, sir. It's up to you to come out. Amen. If you want to remain a prisoner of anger and frustration and bitterness yes, and all that, you, it's your choice. Yes, sir. It's your choice. Yes, sir. God will set you free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And once you find out who Jesus is, you'll be so glad. Yes. So Thank glad I found him. So glad I met him. Yes. Call me off to the Damascus Road. Call you off to the Damascus Road. Some road you go on. He called you off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't it wonderful? I was angry at everybody. I didn't have any personal grudge against anybody, except maybe a few. But before I met Jesus, I was just mad. Sure, that's man. <laughs> and I get mad, I get my way. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. Yes. Yep. Yes, sir. See, you're mad. You get your way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> sir. And, and when I went to this place, I knew if I got mad, I wouldn't get my way. I was nice. This is nice. Then I get my way. Yes, sir. Get your way. <laughs> So I ain't the person is also a what? A hypocrite. Amen. Oh, a hypocrite. Amen. He, one way this day, this hour, next way somebody else, or something else, or some masquerading as somebody else. Amen. But it's full of anger and frustration and bitterness. Don't speak to people. Don't only speak to those people that speak to you. You only talk to people like you. Mm. Don't say nobody else. Bitter, angry. All those issues in your head. Mm -hmm. And 
Christ set you free. <laughs> You're not a prisoner of the past. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank You're you. not a prisoner of somebody's ideology. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're a prisoner. You're free. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank set Paul free. You say so. And it said, How do I know? It's I'm Jesus. Yeah. Come at Paul's like and bust your head on. No, I'm Jesus. Yeah. The love and mercy, the passion was there when he spoke to him. Mm -hmm. That Thank night you. that I met Jesus, tell it. I'm going to tell it again. I told it him. I was in my house there, in my apartment there on 1904 Pleasant Street, and I heard his voice. He said, Willie, God loves you. Uh, all number four. I never heard it again. Not in that, in that sense. I didn't go to church. In fact, I ran from churches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would carry my wife to the fellowship and drop her off. I go on back to the house. Yeah. <laughs> go on down to, to the nearest bar and get me a beer. Mm -hmm. And one time me to come pick up, I'd go pick up and bring her back to the house. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Angry. Tell it. So many believers are angry. And so many non-believers are angry. The best person to give you peace is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You stop being angry. You get help how you got here. Yes, sir. You get help how you got here. Who brought you here? What you mad at somebody for? Give your life to Jesus. Yes, sir. You bring joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Yes, will. Give your life to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes, thank Trust you. in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And lean not to your own understanding. This is why Paul had this, 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 this problem of leaning to the system for his understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Grace. Whenever you lean to the system for to dictate to you or to manipulate your mind, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because we know who is the God of this age. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Satan is God of this age. Yes. And have blinded the minds of those that believe not. <laughs> Trust in the Lord, he says here. Yeah. He said, oh, look, don't you know Paul is a little hard? <laughs> yes, sir. Kill against the pricks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> losing battle, bro. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. hey, you, you've been kicking for a while now. Come on here. <laughs> you've been kicking for a while, yes. and, and you're making no success. Yes, sir. I see you kicking. But I can use you if you would just get in the light. Mm. I can use your kicking in the light. Yes, sir. I can lose your, use your determination yes, in the light. Lord, I can lose your loyalty and your faith you. in the light. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you got faith in this system here, I can use your faith in me to do a multitude of things. Yes, sir. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Isn't that wonderful? Amen. He says that. It's hard for you to kick against the goals, the boys. Oh, uh, you're gonna keep hurting yourself, Paul. <laughs> if you keep kicking there. But come, let me have it. Look, look at verse uh verse uh six. And he trembling and astonished and said, Lord, what would you have me to do? Jesus already told him who he was. <laughs> And regardless as to what Paul was fighting against, he had gained enough information from that group or from that system yes, that, to know who he was in the sense that he was a person. But he didn't choose him. But God chose Paul there on the Damascus Road that morning. God chose you. And give you a chance to get on board. Come unto me. Say that. Come unto me. All ye that labor. Paul was laboring. Yes, he was. Yes, sir. Give you rest. Paul, I'll give you rest. Yes, sir. You can slow down. Yes, thank you. Get your good night's sleep. Yes, sir. You want to answer no to no religious leader. Mm -hmm. You answer to me. It's a shame we've got to answer to a religious leader. Right? There's nothing wrong with religious leaders, but when you have to answer to a religious leader, you're in trouble. Yes, you are. 
Yeah. You don't answer to me. You don't answer to Jay. You don't answer, you don't answer any of us. You don't answer to Christ. Yes. All we can do is give you instruction and live a life that glorifies God. Amen. You don't answer to me. Amen. I can't give you no reward. I can't help you no, nothing but share more Christ with you. Don't be such a big shot. Because all you can see is the shot. Right? Masquerading. That's what that's all. Paul. And then Paul, he come around here. I know he'd be here. Let's get out of this synagogue, go somewhere and hide. And when he leave town, we'll come back. Have fear. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. He's arise. Tell you what to do. I want you to arise. <laughs> and go into the city. He's getting his orders from Christ now instead of from religion. Yes, sir. Where are your orders coming from? From Christ or from some from some from, 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 from some traditional religion? Or some type of denomination? I don't have anything against denomination. But what I'm saying is, where are you getting your orders from? It should come from Jesus. It should come from Jesus. Alright? And the trembling and the son said, Lord, what would thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Now, it's strange that Jesus didn't tell him exactly what to do. But not really strange, but there was a man in the city who could tell him what to do. When you meet Jesus, there should be somebody to be able to tell you what to do. God called you from out of darkness into the marvelous light, but in the light there should be someone who's able to tell you what God wants you to do. I should be able to share with you the things of Christ. God has given you the spirit of truth. And that spirit of truth in you should work under the leading of the Holy Spirit to share with us the things of Christ. Amen. When you sit down and you're talking other than Christ, you're not very much help to him. All right? He stopped Paul so he could tell more about Jesus. Now, if you're sharing anything other than Jesus in your setting, uh, the recipient is not receiving anything from Christ. Right? So be careful when you sh you share information of, of Christ and it's all mixed up with things other than Christ. Mm. I can tell you about denominationalism. Mm. Study denominationalism. I don't have anything against denominationalism. I'm just saying study it. Study the doctrine. Study the teaching. Traditions. Study all of that. And the purpose behind that. You may find yourself wanting to listen to Jesus. Mm. Right? Amen. And when the and when the men who journeyed were with him stood speechless. See, God don't call everybody at the same time. Amen. And Amen. God can call you individually from out of a crowd and nobody else hears it but but, but the one right there. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes. The God, God called me. My wife didn't hear me. Didn't hear it. I told her about Jesus. I ain't heard nothing. It was for me. Glory. She heard him all, but for, for, for that night, it was for me. Amen. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I had to go somewhere and, and ask somebody about Jesus. I hadn't met him. Hell. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Straight. Amen. Yes, sir. 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 And when I look back on my life, if I would have called me, I wouldn't have called me. Mercy. I wasn't worth a call. I Mercy. really wasn't. Mercy. I was just that right and I need one worth a call. Mercy. But God saw something yeah. in that empty vessel that he could use. And so he over prayer time he emptied out those things that were not his Come on, and replaced yeah. it with Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. God need more faithful believers. 
faithful to him, not faithful to some organization or some denomination. You need to be faithful to Jesus. Because when we get before Jesus, he ain't going to ask you what denomination you belong to. He ain't going to ask you what tradition, what tradition you came out of. He ain't going to ask you none of that. That's wonderful. Don't get tired of something that is no value to you. You need to express Christ in everything you do. Yeah. Every morning, you should express Christ. Yeah. On the job, in some, some situations, something will occur where Christ asks you to express Him. In your home, your children, situations occur where you need to express Christ. Married couples need to express Christ. My wife expressed Christ. I express Christ. And sometimes I don't express Christ. And Christ said, watch it with it. I said, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Try me one more time. That old nature has to be dealt with. Yes, it does. Thank you. It's just a rottenness it can be. And Satan is always winding with trying to seek his put some here. Put some there. Put some there. Watch your television too. Don't hang around too long. Certain programs you, some believers should not be even looking at. Amen. Because the evil one plants what? Seeds. Amen. God plants seeds, you plant seeds, but the evil one plants seeds too. Amen. And over, over a period of time, they might increase into something of no value at all. Right? Let me close up here. And the voice seeing no man saw rose from the earth and when his eyes were what open he saw no man and they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus yes. so when you first get born again you have to have somebody to bleed you a little bit just because you've been born again don't, don't know, you don't know everything you don't know nothing really all you did was just got your spirit born again and your mind need to be renewed day after day after day yes. In the things of Christ. Yeah. And some law person or family member or member that belong to the fellowship or elder or pastor or deacon or deaconess or whoever's it, whoever's been with Christ for a while, you should. They should be able to help you along the way. No man can grow by himself. No woman can grow by himself. You can't eat peanuts and think you're going to grow. Just peed us all the time. Right? Watermelons, you can eat watermelons too, but you ain't going to do a whole lot of growing here. Oh, Lord have mercy. And three days without sight, he didn't either eat nor drink. A little fast in there helped Paul to see more clearly. And sometimes we need to fast, not, on, not necessarily on food, on things of the system. Amen. Right, Jen? Fast. Amen. Right, Earl? Fast. Amen. Sometimes you 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 eat this stuff, you you know you know how much is much death has been detrimental to your system. You look at it. And it's feels all right. But over a period of time your nature, your thinking changes because of the little elements that's put in there. And old prayer time you oh yeah, I gotta look at things a little bit different now. Why? But the what look it, it, it came from somewhere. You were a good spiritual person, and all of a sudden you you don't quite look at things anymore like that. You know why? Because you've been viewing something that's not a Christ. He's so deceitful, Satan is. Such a mind manipulator and a worker at deceiving. And the turn, destroying information. He don't, he don't, bam, no. He does a little bit of time. And before you know it, you're over here. And don't know how you got there. Because you've been looking at viewing something that um, was detrimental to your spiritual growth. And the Word and the Holy Spirit can help you, help you to see. All right, I'm going to finish a bit. And there was, yeah. The three days without sight. 
and neither did he eat. No. <laughs> now, I, I look at one person that was angry. Go to me to the book of Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 4. Right, her? Was angry. Big time. And who? And who? His own brother. His own brother. How many? How many people are mad at the own brother? The own sister. Mad. You know who the orchestrator of, 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 of that of that kind of uh, ideology? Satan. Say, praise the Lord. <laughs> Verse 4. And Adam knew his wife. Right? That, that means Adam got his wife pregnant. That's what it means. And she conceived and woke Cain. And Lord had and, and said, I have gotten a man from where? From the Lord. All of us come from the Lord. Through our mother's womb. And she said, Adam, boy, his brother and Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a, 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 a tiller of the ground. Cain, Cain worked on the ground Abel worked with sheep. Two had a, two different uh, uh, responsibilities. In the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offered unto the Lord. Right? Brought some fruit, some tomatoes, some grapes, some corn or whatever it was brought to the Lord. And Abel brought of the Lord the first things of the flock. flock. And the flock. And I had the flock and all the fat thereof. And the Lord respected unto Abel and his offering. He had respect to Abel's offering. But, said, but Cain and his offering he had no respect. Cain's offering, I mean, Cain, uh, Abel's offering satisfied God. He was pleased with it. And his conscience fell. He got angry. You could talk to a person. You could be speaking to a person. And they, their face will echo what's going on in their conscience. Can't you? You can speak to a person and he may say, It really says what, what, what's going on down here. Your body is your expression of what's going on. But at the same time, your body can be a hypocrite too. Because you can give a smile and act as you're angry. You can say you're pleased by shaking, shaking the person's hand, but in your heart, you're as angry as you can be. Mm. <laughs> I hope all of us who are here have escaped this type of environment, habits. If you haven't, over a period of time, the Spirit will help and lead us and guide us through those difficult times. Because depending on what environment you came out of, it could be more devastating in that environment than in another. But remember, don't be a, a false one menacing Christ. Because you can minister Christ in, in false too. You say all kinds of good things about Christ, but there's a sinister purpose behind why you said it. Right? When you told lies, 
and the person you were listening to thought you were telling the truth, you had a reason for it. It sounded good. It sounded good to him or whoever you were telling. It sounded good. You know you won't get the results you wanted because you were lying. Right? Lying. Then the person found out about it and he or she did what? They got mad. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Verse 17, it may verse up. He said unto the I will greatly multiply your sorrow and the conception. I think that's it. Wait a minute. Cain rose up and killed his, killed his brother. Hey. Mad at him. How many of us have said things to actually hurt and destroy other people? Man. Man. Children, your wife, your grandchildren, people next door, angry. And you're supposed to be a good little what? Christian. I'm not I'm not pointing the finger at anybody here. Because I've been good of myself. But the Holy Spirit help you help help us to see does that apply to us? If it does, you need to repent. Ask God to forgive you and try your what? One more time. I can't be mad at my wife and my children standing looking at me. I'm mad at my wife. He was transferring that stuff to your children. And she's mad at me. And my children, my grandboy there, she he look at and she just she just transferred it to him. So that's where you, you treat your husband. Angry. That's where you treat your treat your grandchildren. Angry. So I'm going to treat my grandchildren the same way my mama did. The same way my daddy. I, that's what I got from them. But the Bible teaches that any man being Christ, he's what? He's a new creature. All things are passing away. The all things become new. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is what? He's able. You got to let him. You gotta let him go. Yes. You gotta take your hands out of God's business. Yes, you can. And let God do his work. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's the message for this morning. Yes. Overcoming anger. Yes. Allowing Christ to live his life through you in such a way that he forget. When you see me, hopefully you see some things of Christ. Amen. When you see my wife, hopefully you'll see some things of Christ. Now we're not none of us are perfect here. Yes. Amen. But we ought to ought to be more and more of Christ expressed through us and it should be any hypocrisy with that mm -hmm. I'm going to act nice I'm, I'm going to speak to Jay today God, I got to act real nice mm -hmm. and as soon as Jay goes you just rotten into me mm -hmm. you see what I'm talking about mm -hmm. so we can be nice anytime Amen. Mm -hmm. we can be kind and sweet and all pretty up it's always a nice boy but you, if, once you turn the corner you take on another cloak mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so be in Christ, do all those things that Christ desires us to do in the Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Any questions, amen. any comments? And then we're going to move on. Well, I have a comment of Pastor. I just, I just think it was a great message. And I do see that there's a lot of people that are not 